What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at some kitchen fails. Now I'm sure most of you out here have had your own experience in the kitchen with some things that didn't go as well as you wanted them to go, but I'm pretty sure you didn't mess up like this. If you are not already, take this time to subscribe, turn on that bell for notifications, and drop a like on this video. Starting off with number one, this guy baked his glasses into his bread. Now I'm sure after he did that, he was wondering, where are my glasses? Where are my glasses? But when he pulled the bread out the oven, he saw, oh, I was looking for my glasses and there they are. Ooh. Now, I have not done this personally myself. If I did, then I would obviously see it happening. It must have fell in there like last minute or something. Or maybe they just fell so quick and he was just so concentrated on what he was doing that he did not realize they fell in there. Okay, now there's no way he didn't feel them falling off of his face. I don't believe that. I don't believe that at all. I'm a bit concerned why he didn't realize that because I mean, I noticed it. They just fell off my face. Next, we have another kitchen fail. This person attempted to make one of those mug cakes in the microwave in their cup, but I guess it overflowed and got everywhere on the turntable, everywhere except the cup. This is why it's so important to make sure that you watch your food in the microwave because it can spill and get everywhere. If you watch it, then you will have less of a mess to clean up. I'm telling you this from experience. Keep this in mind next time you're making something in the microwave. So this guy melted his cutting board on the stove. It is very important that if you don't have any items that need to be on the stove, that while the eyes are on, that you don't have any of them near them because you can melt a lot of plastic items. Not just plastic items, you can start a fire and that will be very bad. So here we have a pizza and a pizza fail. I think the problem here is they didn't put it on the sheet, the sheet on the pan that could have avoided this. Now it's very important to read the instructions. If you can do that, you better check on the directions to make sure it's okay for you to do that. Or you better look it up just to be sure. And then double check, triple check, check one last time before you put it in the oven the final time so you can avoid situations like this. Last but not least, People are always finding substitutes for things that they don't have in their kitchen. So in this situation, this person was straining noodles, but they didn't have a strainer. So they figured, hey, let me use a tennis racket. What? Visible confusion. <laughs> don't do that. Tennis racket can serve the same purpose as a strainer. I did not know that. Maybe I'll just buy a tennis racket instead of a strainer. Bruh. One of the others don't cheaper. Do that. I'm just gonna get the cheaper option and the safest option at that. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Hope you learned not to try any of these at home when you're in the kitchen. Follow the recipe, follow the directions, and you should be all right. If you have not seen my previous videos, now would be the time to go watch them. You can watch this one, this one, or this one. These are three of my latest videos. And also, if you're not subscribed already, turn on that bell for notifications and drop a like on this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Yeah.